<laughs> um, it is beauty news time. Yay! Oh, oh, we forgot to wear sparkles and confetti. Oh shit, guys, guess what? This is our two-year anniversary. Yeah, video. that's what it was. Yep. I'm like, is it our hundredth video? Is no, it a... two years. Two years. So, so two years ago. Today. Today. We uploaded our day. first beauty news. Yes. So that's pretty exciting. We're not doing anything exciting for no, it. No, we forgot. <laughs> uh, we did forget. Oops. And also, we're technically on holiday, and yeah. um, we don't want to do anything. Yeah. We don't... So that's how we're celebrating. Being on holidays. That's exactly. True. Um, and by holidays, it means a normal <laughs> uploading schedule plus working plus other stuff. I know. Just not uploading extra content. I was gonna say, except. Yesterday we did upload extra content. Yeah, oh yeah, we did. Uh, so if you didn't see, we did the lucky yeah. Beautylish lucky bag opening, which yes. we were quite happy about. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is the same day that we're filming it this, is. so hence the same clothing. And we're on I haven't holiday, get, and I haven't got to alone. use it. I want to use it. I know. I want to dig into it, but I can't. But. Um, all right. So today we have a pretty big episode. There's yeah. quite a bit. We're definitely going to have to get into um, our regular two videos a month in February. Yeah, we will. Um, and because oh, I, sorry, two videos a week. I think yeah. I said two videos a month. Yeah, two videos a week. Yeah, I think that what we're what's happening is not only the quantity of stuff, but we're getting really behind. So. Yep. If we had a Monday episode, we would have talked about the Sharp, Sharp, Tarte Shape, <laughs> Shape Tape, Tape Foundation. Yeah. Um, so, unfortunately, we're going to have to talk about it now, but it's sort of old news. It is. That's it's the thing that's out. annoying about not doing two videos a week. Mm -hmm. So, the updates always tend to be a little bit fresher. Yeah. Um, so, let's talk about that first. All right. So, we talked last week, the week before, don't remember when it was, uh, we talked about uh, Tarte hinting at something else in the uh, Shape Tape range um, and everyone was thinking uh, foundations foundations and we were looking at the size of the cap and we're like okay it's gonna be foundations and it is foundations now in the last week since we filmed there's been a huge hoo-ha about oh it oh my all. god guys it was a roller coaster like it this was one. a roller coaster <laughs> so there's two types of foundations that are coming out there's matte and there's also hydrating and each of them have 15 shades yeah um, and they have already been released yes they're out. You can buy them. You can go buy them. Australian dollars or thirty something US US dollars, yep. thirty six US dollars, something like that. So they're available. You can get them, um, and they've also been released with a sponge and also a brush, toothbrush brush. Yeah, one of those big yeah. kind of hairbrush Paddle brushes. brushes yeah. um, now that brush is, they say, is designed to go with the matte one, and the sponge is designed to go with the hydrating one. Right. I don't know why, but whatever they're making you buy extra stuff and there's also they've also released a shape tape 12 hour primer stick that a lot right. of people ignored as well yeah so people were so like oh my god foundations that they ignored the other stuff so they haven't just released foundations they've extended it to a whole range yep so primer eyeshadow primer sponge brush foundations and concealers now. that's because so many people use that primer uh, that concealer yeah, as, as a, a primer, primer. yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, there was a kerfuffle about the oh, 15 was. shades in each range. Yes. Um, people were heinously upset about oh, yeah, the, very the upset. shade range. And I, I can understand why, because we did see some swatches and they look like, mm, the, it, I mean, it looks concerning because they literally look all extremely fair. And then there's like two or three medium yeah, shades and have you also in each range. have you also noticed that both arms they look like they've got really different shades? Yes, like and the shades aren't consistent over the both, both yes, the ranges. Yeah, their um the imagery that they have for showing whether like what the shade is is not it doesn't make it easy to compare shades. Look, I do want to say, and this is where I totally understand that people are disappointed in the shade range. Like, the shade range is very... Compared to a lot of brands these days that are bringing out comprehensive foundation yep. ranges, so Fenty Beauty, Huda Beauty, uh, stuff like that, where they're bringing 30, 40 shades out, this is really poor. Yep. However, I do also want to say that compared to something like Charlotte Tilbury that's brought out <laughs> yeah. six shades, yep. this is quite decent. Yeah. Now, look, does this fit everyone? 
No. Fuck no. But it's very rare that foundation ranges do. Yeah. They've also come out to say that they are formulating new shades. Yeah. Um, so the article that was on Pop Sugar, I think it was an exclusive for them, um, they said that there's going to be 10 new shades released. But they also said that there's 30 shades in this collection. So I think there's going to be five new shades each. Yes. So some fairer and some deeper. Now, the problem with everything is, firstly... Their concealer range has 14 shades. So I think they were just mimicking their concealer yeah. uh, shades and they didn't realise the backlash that it was going to get. Because, um, and I feel like what Tarte probably did was try to get the formula right, try to release in shades they know will sell, and then when they're making more money off it, build on it. Yeah. But I still think that... Look, I think releasing two formulas is good, because, you know, there's always... Like, Fenty Beauty released pretty much a matte one. Mm -hmm. um, but st people still praised her matte one with its inclusive range um, and with the idea of her bringing out a dewy one later on with the same range. I think Tarte should have done that. All right, let's run through some things real quickly. We've got um, a Beauty Bakery palette. This is called the Scoops Elise. It is a face and body palette for pan. Um... And I think the reason they're considering it a body palette is because you can use a highlighter on your body. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Do you want to blush your shoulders? No. Blush your boobies? <laughs> no. I don't. Not really. No. Uh, also, the new Tella liquid lipstick from Beauty Bakery has been discontinued. Uh, they claimed that a certain brand of hazelnut spread reached out to take <laughs> Nutella off the bakery shelves. Oh, Oops. that's funny. Um, so they did a big sale on them and uh, it looks like they are sold out. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Um, all right, we've seen, this is an update, we've seen the Anastasia Beverly Hills single bronzers. Mm -hmm. So we talked about these, we had sneak peeks for a while now. They're going to be released 20th of February on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website and then they're coming 6th of March in stores. So there you go. But they're six shades, 10 grams each, so you get quite a nice That's amount of product. That's a good amount of product. And with bronzer, you do use a lot. Oh, so, yeah. you I know, nearly finished another one. <laughs> yeah, so we like to... Sometimes go, you're never going to use that. But with bronzers, you do. Yeah. So that's fair enough. 28 US dollars. They're vegan, all matte, no shimmer. Um, and the shades are Rosewood, uh, Rich Amber, Saddle, Tawny, Cappuccino, and Mahogany. And even though some of these look quite similar, they have diff like varying undertones and varying depths, yeah. which are really good. So Rosewood, more of that blushy kind of... Uh, so if you've got very fair, almost pink toned skin... Something like that looks a lot better than an orange tone or brown tone. Mm -hmm. Then you've got some more of the, you know, more traditional bronzers. Tawny is like a taupe. So if you yeah, want to... Um, I want that. If you want to contour with it, this is more of a contour shade. And then you have some deeper shades as well. So yeah. um, it's a nice range and they look gorgeous on the models. Yes. Aren't these... Oh, yeah. I love They're Anastasia's gorgeous. imagery. They're yeah, just they so smash good. it out of the cup. Pup. So, so smash beautiful. Smash it out of the cup. The cup look. Sometimes carps hold on to things and you need to smash it out of yeah. them. Oh my God, please don't smash anything out of carps. Ooh. They have feelings too. All right, another thing that Anastasia, this is oh. quite amazing. Um, so they had a palette that was accidentally leaked again. Yes. So similar to how Subculture was, uh, their upcoming Soft Glam palette was mm. also leaked. Um, so what they did, which I totally think is the better way to do it, is they just showed the image of it. They did. They're, instead of cracking the shits on Instagram and, and Twitter like uh, Norvina did last time, yeah. um, they just said, okay, yeah, it's been, it's our surprise has been leaked. And, yeah, uh, she did crack the shits a little bit, but I think it was, she obviously was feeling upset and really frustrated. She said her piece, she moved on. Yeah. And I think she did really well. Yeah. So. But I think with that one, they really tried to hide all the images yes. rather than just release the marketing image and go, yeah. okay, instead of looking at potato photos that um, make it look really shit, yeah. here's the proper marketing images. Yeah. So, yeah, this is a new palette that's going to be coming out in March. Mm -hmm. um, and it is just like a nude palette. This reminds me a little bit of... I think because whenever there's a there's a shimmery pink and a shimmery gold, I just think Huda, Huda. Rose Gold. I think that too when yeah. I see a shimmery pink and a shimmery yellow with together. the dark brown and a black. And the plum, I always, the yeah. plum or the ready sort of color. Yeah, I get. I I understand 
that as well. And I noticed a few other people have brought up that, like, they don't feel it's the same, but yeah. they get that vibe, vibe from yeah. it. So with this palette, they've just designed it to be more of your everyday, if you didn't like the dark teals and the yellows and the crazy colours that they put in their more recent palettes, this is more of a kind of beginner, neutral nude, mm. Some wearable. warm, some cools, wearable yeah. kind of palette. And I think she did say that she, Nilvina, dedicated this to her mum. Right. Because her mum likes to wear these sort of softer colours. So the problem with this one for me is that, okay, it, it does look very uh, typical. Like it's, most brands have released something like this, which I don't hate. I still mm. think there's, there is a hole in their range that requires something that's sort of beginner friendly. And then you can bring in the subcultures or the other yeah. palettes to... Um, kind of add twists on this um, but a lot of these shades are either in existing palettes or they are very similar to so um, that temp tempira tempira yeah that was in um, modern renaissance as well as sienna burnt, no that's raw sienna <laughs> oh, okay so yeah so burnt yes, orange was in it burnt orange um cypress umber, cypress umber yes but um they're the only ones that are in Modern Renaissance. Modern Renaissance. Yeah, so there's a lot that are doubling up. Um, there's also three shimmery kind of gold champagne shades in mm. here. Um, and, like, they they are different, but at the same time, like, it's it's pretty basic. Yeah. Um, I, I'm torn with this one. I like it. And to be perfectly honest, I'm probably going to buy it. She has come out to say that... Um, we should expect the same formula as Modern Renaissance with mm -hmm. this palette. And being, like, I love that formula. Being these really wearable shades, I'm probably going to add it to my collection. Yeah, I don't know. I'm on the fence. I reckon this, for me, would be one of those things where um, if I'm placing an order in the distant future and it's in available, I'll be like, yeah. oh, I'll just add it to the cart. But um, I won't be like, I have to get it when it's released. No. Because, because this is so yeah. bland. Yes. And even some of these shades like uh, Dusty Rose, um, there are dupes for that in other palettes that she's brought out recently. So yep. it's not super exciting. But if you do love that formula and you've been waiting for something like this, they're bringing it out. Yeah. So this will be coming in March to all retail stores. Yeah. So there we go. All right. So we've had a little something something pop up. Um, we'll start with the Anastasia... Amrezi uh, highlighter, which we have talked about before, um, and then there's also a smash pop, Smashbox and Vlada um, petal metal shimmer drops. Now, essentially, someone posted image of the images of these and was saying that um, there's a factory in Italy that's making these products, and the workers are leaking them and also potentially selling the products, and that's how people are getting their hands on them. And she also mentioned that the Fenty Foundation, um, like this person, we don't know who she is, but she purchased it off a factory worker before it was even known to the world that Fenty was bringing up foundations. Now, we don't know how true this is. Mm. Um, we know that the Fenty Foundation is made in Italy. We know pretty much everything from Anastasia is made in the People's Republic of China. So yeah. I don't really believe that part of it. Um, Smashbox, I don't have much from Smashbox, but I know that the palettes I own are also made in China. So I think we can take what this person says with a grain of salt, but we know that these are actual products. So yeah. there's the Amrezi and Anastasia highlighter, which is fucking beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Looks like sand dunes. Yeah, it's beautiful. And then there is the Smashbox and Vlada Petal Metal. I think it's Petal Metal. Yeah, yeah. Petal Metal Petal Shimmer Metal drops. Shimmer Drops. So they're real things. And this one on the side, it says Rose Glitz. It's very pretty. It is very pretty. You're going to see people dropping that stuff on their oh, face. Oh, of course they will. <laughs> Okay. So, yeah, that's that's what's going on there, but we will keep you updated. Yeah. All right, then we have a Bare Minerals sneak peek. So this is a new uh, Bare Pro full coverage con uh, concealer mm. that's coming out in March. Looks like it's probably a stick kind of concealer yeah. from the looks of it. But, um, yeah, if you're interested in Bare Minerals base products and full coverage, perfect 
concealers, according to this person, uh, March. A um, little bit of a public service announcement to anyone who's purchased off the Beauty Blender website in the last, I think, two years. Um, there was malware found in their system yeah. um, and they hadn't backed up the data of their website in two years. So that means if you've made a purchase, potentially using your credit card or banking details, um, somebody who shouldn't have them might have them. So please keep an eye on your bank accounts. Also, um, do change your passwords. So mm-hmm. if this, like, um, there's this whole thing that uh, people steal data from websites and then put it through programs to yeah. see if that email address and password match, will match on any other thing. Yeah. So that's how people's Uber accounts get hacked and so forth and so forth. So yeah. um, do if you use a similar email, um, similar password to that account, mm. change it on your this email. Is I prefer to use PayPal through. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Mm. Um, all right. Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, my God. We did talk about this last we time. We did, but we need to update it because yeah. there's been a kerfuffle. People are screaming about the shade ranges again. Seven yeah. foundation shades. Um, Charlotte Tilbury has come out to say, Darlings, my new flawless filter is not a foundation. It's a brand new revolutionary innovation in makeup. Stay tuned for all the details. And then it has been like dead air ever since so i find that really annoying though because even though this might be uh some other form of thing whether it's uh because it says it's a flawless filter youth glow yeah so whether it's a primer whether it's something that you put on top of your foundation whether it's something you mix in with your foundation at the same time it's got shades and they're skin tone shades exactly and that's what pisses me off about this yeah and like (sighs) I just, I feel like saying to brands, don't expect people to understand what shit is. Unless you explain it to them. Unless you explain it. And if you're not willing to explain it to people, don't even fucking show it. Yeah, don't bother until you can actually, because you're shooting yourself in the foot. You're like, here's this magical item. People are like... That, I don't like the look of that. That looks like crap. And you're like, I'm not putting that on my face. And you're like, darlings, (laughs) it's a new dress. What are you talking about? And you're like, fuck, just like, you know what I mean? Like, just, I know. It really, like, it fucking frustrates me. Yeah. And every time I see this thread pop up in the group again, it like comes to the top and I'm just yeah. like, fuck off. I don't care what it is. I don't care. Yeah. Run over it with a fucking semi-trailer at this point. Yeah. Shoot it in the foot. I want nothing to do with it. It's annoying the shit out of me. But it looks like foundation. Everyone's fucking complaining about it. Yeah. They're saying it's not foundation, but we're not going to tell you what it is. I don't give a fuck. But they're in foundation shades. And regardless, the shade range is pretty poor. Can I also say that Trend Mood did do an update? Yeah. Uh, Trend Mood said, please read updated caption. The initial description on the website was foundation. Right. It has been updated and currently says primer and highlight hybrid. So... That's cool, but once again, why do you need all these shades a of primer and primer? highlight hybrid? That's just an illuminating primer. I was going to say, I think the reason why that blew up as being drama was because Jeffrey Star Jeffrey cracked Star the shits, got and as soon as Jeffrey Star cracks the shits, his minions crack the shits, <laughs> and it is like becomes toxic. And... Oh, it's funny. Get the popcorn. Get the yeah. popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we do have Australian news. This yeah. is Chi Chi. Um, they're jumping on the rainbow sort of, uh, not rainbow, coloured highlighter, yeah. shifty, iridescent highlighter bandwagon. And I'm going to say, I'm sick of this bandwagon and this is a year old, but they've done it pretty well. I actually, I feel you, I 100%. I feel you. Yeah. So it's an eight pan palette. Yeah. And I think that's really smart because you never see eight pan iridescent colour no. Shifty goodness, Shifty goodness yeah. in a palette. So I think they've done a really good job with that. Yeah. Props to you. Uh, there's a really nice shade range. You've got like yellow and green, aquamarine. You've got silver. Looks like there's an orange in there. Yeah. Rose quartz, opal, amethyst, uh, sapphire. So like blues and pinks and purples and greens. and Like it's all in there. I yeah. think it's a really, really smart. But my God, this is dead. Like yeah, this dead. Dark, this Leave this in 2017. Yeah. I'm sorry. But there, look, I'm going to say, I'm going to step back and say, okay, we keep on the ball with what's coming out. We buy a lot of makeup. 
Um, and, we're, and not everyone does. And not everyone does. Yeah. And I think That's by fair. the time that a lot of people that are targeting Chi Chi makeup, which in Australia is more of like Affordable. a wet wild. Yes. Wet yep. wild range. Yeah. Um, and often fairly good quality. Yeah. Good quality. Affordable. Yeah. But generally it's marketed to people that aren't like, what's Natasha Denona bringing yes. out next? Yep. So I and understand. And also marketed to people who aren't going to spend that sort of money. Yep. So... I can respect that. Yep. However, for me, Not oh my one. God, I'm Too sick tall. of seeing these fucking highlighting palettes. I agree. Colourpop. Um, we've got, we'll start with these black and white sneak peeks. It look, looks like, you know, stuff. Yeah. Lots of stuff. Probably stuff that's lots coming out packs, over the lots next... Lots of lip trios, yeah. lots of I reckon this is quads. pretty much everything they plan on releasing in the next six days. <laughs> <laughs> Good that's point. A that's a joke. That's a very valid joke. Yes. Very topical. Yes. Yeah. But, um, yeah, there's lots of stuff there. So, you know, I, I expect that's what we're looking at for potentially the first half of 2018 yeah. or all of 2018. No, no, no. Just maybe half. just the first half. Yeah. Well, first quarter, <laughs> first quarter maybe. Um, we've also got five new liquid lipsticks, all in beautiful nude shades. So if you like nudes, you know, they got more for you. Yeah. And then we have uh, blushes, sorry. So there's seven blushes. Uh, three of them are existing shades that are being like brought back mm -hmm. and four are new and they launched on the 12th of January. Um, these are um, like try, kind of, I, I can't even talk, especially for that shade driving me crazy down the end. Yeah, gorgeous. Which is... I do want to point out though, Super Shock Cheeks yes. is what they also call some the of the highlighters. highlighters yes i think it's more like the products that aren't they aren't designed just to be highlighters or aren't designed just to be like blushes, blushes. Like no a, they're designed as like a it's a cheek product yeah and you use it as you wish yeah um because i think i've got some of these and i use them as highlighters oh okay yeah pretty sure yeah um so there you go seven new shades or sorry three new shade three existing shades and four new shades um, so if you are keen on any of those colours, you can, you you can, can get, get them. All right, we've got new Dose of Colours Stay Glossy. Mm -hmm. uh, so lip glosses, they're um, supposed to be a new formula, high gloss finish, non-sticky formula, cruelty free, vegan, 17 US dollars each, uh, launching 19th, which is today for mm -hmm. us, but really it'll be launching tomorrow, whatever. Yeah. Um, and they also had the first... 10 shades launched at IMATS LA. A few yeah. releases were shown early at IMATS last weekend, um, but there's a lot of nude shades. There's one sort of like shimmery shade, some shimmery shades, but one like a shimmery topper, topper. kind of yep. whatever. Um, yeah, if you're into lip glosses, you can go buy them. Mm -hmm. uh, this is an update. These are the Estee Lauder uh, Double Wear Custom Coverage Correcting Duos. Yep. Now, these are currently available they're 32 us dollars each and these are dual ended color correcting duos yeah and we were talking about these a few oh, months ago month ago yeah I last reckon, year sometime yeah late last um, year and we were not sure why there were two ends yes but now we know now we do know yeah so one is for coverage and one is more illuminating and you can sort of get a feel for that with this purple one um, you can see that the there's one side that's a lot more uh, dense with the pigmentation and the other side looks to be more sheer and a bit more brighter. We've got something new from Foreo. This is the UFO. So it is, they call it a revolutionary active smart mask. And um, it looks like it uses T-sonic pulsations with red, blue and green LED light therapy across preset programs and essentially this is you're supposed to use it to help infuse serums or masks or things like that mm -hmm. makes me think of that sonic thing that you can get done um at longcom yeah longcom and even um some like um spas and yeah like facial places are using them now um i, I, I look i don't know how good it's gonna be but if that Tickles your fancy, 
You can get you it. You can get it. You can get it tickled. All right, these are just uh, some more photos of the Jouet Blush uh, Bouquet Duos. Mm -hmm. So there's the three shades. They look really beautiful. Launching 23rd of Jan, so next week. 30 US dollars each. Um, but they look really beautiful. Yeah, nice this colors. This nude one. That nude one is I'm, stunning. I'm yeah. I love it. I really, really love it. Uh, we've got the Guerlain La Petite Robe Noire. It is the spring 2018 collection. So up close look. Looks like there is eight and eight, 16 lip glosses. They've got a blue one. Can you believe it? I was not expecting that from Guerlain. No. They're trying to be trendy. They are trying They're to be. They're also trying to like have more of that um, Korean, Japanese influence by having like the little hearts on the yep. lid. Uh, but they just look a bit like looks penises. Like, looks phallic. Just shlong, 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 shlong. shlong. Uh, there's also four lipsticks. I will say these dark colours do not scream spring to me, but they do scream out my name. I love are colours they, like are that. Are there four or are there... Yeah, those, oh, they're, just they're, upside, they're just down. upside down. Yeah. And then there looks to be a potentially a holographic one. Not really. Iridescent. Yeah. Uh, with the white. There are... We've gone the roller wheel. I know. Oh, shame. I know. Shame, the roller shame, wheel shame. liner. Um, I'm assuming... I don't know if these are going to be like colour... Uh, sorry, not colour correctors. Uh, highlighting... Pens or, yeah. sorry, pencils? No, I, I would say that these are double-ended brow products. Yeah. So it says brow duo. Oh, okay, So it'd be cool. a brow gel and then a highlighting okay, yep. brow highlighter. Makes sense. Um, and then there are two nail polishes in beautiful non-spring shades. Yeah, they're beautiful shades though. They are beautiful. I, want them. I really like them. The, the, the packaging just looks really, I'm going to say I, affordable. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and for the Guerlain prices, I don't yes. want my packaging to look. Yeah, I w I would agree with you on that one. I because you could go to the face shop, you could go to a lot of um, affordable affordable uh, shops that sell like Korean and Japanese makeup and get all these kind of things. Yep, for a fraction of the price. Yes, visually, visually, and and that I totally agree with what you're saying there. Mm -hmm. I think Guerlain could do something a little bit different mm -hmm. that doesn't feel already done yeah i agree and we're talking about their packaging not their products yeah we don't know what yep. the products are like no um okay then we've got huda beauty which is showing a new uh 3d highlighter palette that's launching next month mm -hmm. so this is the bronze sands highlighter so it's yes. uh, more for deeper skin tones um and we can see swatches on all different skin tones that gold looks almost like it's foiled it does it really does. The Barbados. I'm yeah, I'm interested. I love Bora Bora. Yeah, I, beautiful. Mate, I, that colour just... Oh. oh, it's a cream, that's uh, why. I see. Yeah. I think there's one cream and three powders. Yeah. So that's why the cream looks so smooth and gorgeous. Yes. Makes sense. Because unfortunately it's a cream. Shame. Eh. Oh, well. Uh, they've also shown something that's coming soon. And it's in a black tube and it's like a squeezy tube and there's a few things going around. A bunch of people are thinking they're concealers. I don't think they are because if they were concealers, they would show the color of the concealer. I would think that there would be, yes. So most concealers, because a lot of people have varying shades that they use um, and they would want to promote having a large shade range like they did with the foundations. Guys, something is how do I stop it? Stop. Um, yeah, I think if it was a concealer, they would have clear packaging or packaging to mimic um, the colour. Yeah, um, so you can see. Yeah, what, so you can see. Yeah. Some people think it's a lip primer. Could be. Some people think it's an eyeshadow primer, which is, I think, That's where ding, I'm ding, ding. Mine, where, yeah. yeah. Um, Inglot has some new pigments yep, coming out. Uh, so it looks like there's seven shades. They are stunning. We're not sure... If these are going to be from a specific collection, all we've got is some imagery. So but these, are if you want a beautiful duochrome, kind of shimmery, eye, like these eyeshadow, these, these are gorgeous. These are my favourite pigments. They're, it's the only brand I buy pigments from because they're just like fucking... They're good. 
They're good. Yeah. All right. Then we've got uh, Juvia's Place just saying, the festival palette. Mm -hmm. So the festival palette's coming. It's here. For there anyone who was keen on that one, it, it's... It's not here yet. I no, think it's coming. But, but we that's see what, what it looks, it looks like. like. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've got Kat Von D Alchemist Mini. Mm -hmm. So this has been confirmed that it's going to have one single shade in it in holographic jade. Yes. Which is not in the no. quad, so it's a new shade. It's a new shade. Then we've got a, uh, Mario showing that his first collab of the year will be with KKW Beauty. Mm -hmm. Probably why he's been ghosting poor um, Norvina. Just yeah. wanted to make a second palette. Yeah. Um, he's like, yeah. sorry, Kim's Kim's my go-to woman. Um, yeah. So yeah, a palette I'm assuming is coming soon. Mm -hmm. There you go. Sneaky fucking eye emoji that people yeah. love to use. God. I know. It's the sparkle fucking filter of 2018. Yeah. The eyes. Fuck. The fucking eyes. All right, Kylie or no? Sorry, it was actually Courtney uh, Kardashian was sneak peeking. Her logo options. Yep. Yeah. And the post-it note looks like it says fart. But, um, <laughs> it looks like this is going to potentially be a collaboration yeah. with Kylie Cosmetics. Yeah. So if you're a fan of Courtney and you're a fan of Kylie, they fucking got you covered. They're coming. They're Good coming with story, something. Bro. Mm -hmm. All right. Another thing that Kylie has been showing is... Um, a new pressed powder eyeshadow, like a nine pan eyeshadow palette. Um, now we have seen what it looks like. Mm -hmm. It's uh, warm kind of bronzers and nudes. Well, there's actually some like a cool taupe in there as well. Yeah. And some kind of like a matte teal uh, or a turquoise and a shimmer as well. So this is quite like a summery feel. I don't hate it. They've it's called it blue honey. Yes. Which I think is interesting. It's launching 23rd of January. Better than Blue Waffle. <laughs> <laughs> Want some Blue Honey on your Blue Waffle? <laughs> no, thanks. No. But Blue Honey is actually that middle shade. Yeah. So, um, but along with that, they're releasing uh, four new velvet liquid lipsticks. Mm -hmm. So these are the warm velvets. There's a shade Shook, Vibe, Heat, and Mood. So they're all launching 23rd as well. And I'm going to say... Warm with that kind of turquoisey color, nice combo. Orange and um, greeny colors, yeah, like they marriage nice, made in heaven, nice they color help story. each other pop. I agree. Uh, L'Oreal, <laughs> L'Oreal has um, a new collection, it's crushed foils, it's now available exclusively at Walmart in the US. They've got crushed foil metallic lip glosses, um, metallic eyeshadows, and metallic highlighters. So, if you're into the metallics, they've got you covered. Mm -hmm. People are shocked at the price, though. Apparently, they're. I mean, for me, I you know the eyeshadows were like nine ninety five US, and I'm like, jeez. It's like twenty dollars Australian, which is totally fine. <laughs> wow, more like thirteen really. dollars. It is pretty standard. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty standard or for pretty us. affordable for L'Oreal yeah. in Australia. Yeah. So, yeah. but people are a bit um, shocked by the prices. They're shook. Mm. Um, all right, then we have Longcom Custom Glow Drops available soon to Nordstrom um, or in Nordstrom on Nordstrom at Nordstrom. <laughs> Nordstrom. From Nordstrom. Mm -hmm. um, 38 US dollars each. Yep. So um, these are gorgeous. They're beautiful. So they've got the custom strobing drop, the sculpting drop, highlight drop, and another highlight drop. So, so a rose and a gold. A rose and a gold, yeah. So these are the type of things that um, you can add into your foundation. You can put um, under your foundation to make it sort of glow a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's good if you've got a really matte foundation, if you just want to add a bit of... Uh, glow without it looking mm. oily or greasy um or you can use it as highlighters and whatnot so yeah. you know if these are good good on them the yeah, swatches I'm look gorgeous of, i'm into it i'm into it I'm as not well gonna lie. i kind of want to try them cover effects did this a while ago but they they upset me i didn't like them yeah, so it didn't work for me so these i don't know that um bronze one on the deep skin Oh, oh pops. it looks so gorgeous. Beautiful. All right, we've got another update on the Lime Crime 
boring things. Plushies. Plushies. So they have been released. Um, here's all the lip swatches from the marketing image imagery. They all look the fucking same. It annoys me to no end. There's a few darks and there's a hundred nudes. Um, it also looks like they just that's not how they look on the lips. We've seen how they look on the lips. They look shit on the lips. I'm sorry. I think with these, though, these would be heavily built up yeah. and then heavily edited. Yeah. Um, but that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. it's not, that's not what they look like. They, oh, yeah. The like swatches these. on the arm do look quite different, but I think because these are designed to be nude, when you put them over pink colored lips, they all look quite the same. Yeah. Um, on your quite fair forearm, you know, they can, you can show color differences. Yeah. But, in if you're being in practical, life, they're, wearing them, they're useless. Yeah. But interesting thing, twenty US dollars each. Too much money. You're not getting my money for that. Too one. much money. And until like I think the twenty third or something, you can buy three for I think forty eight dollars. Too much to. money. No, I really no. don't want to. No. no, don't make me do it. No. Um, Mac is releasing a new collection with Padma Lakshmi. Um, it is curated eyeshadow palettes. And individual colours for eyes, lips and cheeks. Designed to take you from day to deep night. Interesting. Right. Okay. Why so we've got a shimmery lip gloss here. We've got a lipstick in gorgeous gold packaging. The packaging is really cool. I love the packaging. This, yeah. It actually reminds me of like old school um, Estee Lauder. Yeah. Like really, really old school. Which isn't surprising because Max owned by Estee Lauder. That's true. So. Um, but yeah, you can see here that there are six... Oh, there are two palettes. Yes, yeah, there so. are two eyeshadow palettes, two quads, and two face palettes. So one looks peachy pink, one looks more muted cool. Mm. Um, a shimmery lip gloss and brushes. I think if the... Uh, look, let's be real. We're probably not going to get this here because the packaging is actually nice. Like the Robert Lee <laughs> Scott you actually collection. Want it, it and we're not going to fucking get it. Um, but that nudie... Face yeah. palette, I would, or the compact, I yeah, geez, we're would not gonna, buy. We're not going to get it. I know we're not. We didn't get Robert Lee Morris. We're not going to get this because it's too pretty. What we do get, Jade Jagger. <laughs> Which baked shit. No, like there's nothing wrong with that collection. But is it <laughs> is inspiring? It, no, not really. It's very practical, but it's, yep. yeah. All right, we have another case of letter MUA uh, suing people. Suing people. Being ripped off. So, Makeup Forever um, essentially contacted her and were like, hey, we want you to work on this campaign with us. Um, and she was like, you know, tell me more. And they're like, we want to use your lip looks. And she's like, no, no, no. Can't. I mean, oh, I'm under contract uh, with Smashbox, I think mm -hmm. it was. And Which makes sense for that. Exactly. Because they, yeah, they did a, a, a thing. Um, anyway... Makeup Forever were like, well, tell us more about your contract. We might be able to find a workaround. And she's like, yeah, nah. Uh, nah. Don't no. burn my bridges. Exactly. So Makeup Forever just basically stole her shit and used it anyway. And now and she's did it really it. badly. Oh, terribly. And uh, people are like, oh, they're different. Well, actually, they're kind of not because they took imagery and photoshopped it. But whoever photoshopped it, didn't actually Photoshop it different enough. No, I think what they did was they made and they got a graphic designer to draw. Uh, yeah. A like a yeah yeah draw a version. But of that it. person also copied, copied some very it. core yeah parts some some of, details yeah. that yeah and you can see it in the article. So she has engaged a lawyer over this um and and they'll probably settle before it goes to court and she'll have a nice paycheck and also i think what pisses me off about this is this was makeup forever's i think it was their holiday 2017 collection mm. i don't even yeah. think there was any fucking i think they products had, in there no i think they had the the eyeshadow palette yeah the eyeshadow they? palette with the lips on it what are you doing i just i don't get it yeah they could have just been like all right we can't, Respect that yeah. you've got a contract. Next year, before you renew another contract, or please contact please us. Please contact to let us. us know. We're keen yeah. to work with you. Instead of just stealing your shit. And also, what frustrates me is Makeup Forever is like makeup artist brand. 
So don't fucking rip off the people that you that are your clients. That you should be yeah, like... I lost a lot of respect for makeup forever over this. Yeah. And also, why do you need lips on an eyeshadow palette? Just... Who who thought that was a good idea? No. Oh, oh and they've got look. one metallic lip pack. One metallic fucking lip pack and some lipstick packs. Oh, good lord. What is that? Was blush that palette. Blush... That's a fucking blush palette? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, I don't know why they need to put that. It doesn't even look like it's good imagery. It'd be better just to have a swirly fucking tear. I know. All right, just a quick one. We've got a new limited edition collection coming from Marc Jacobs Fragrance. So this is the Twinkle Limited Edition Daisy Fragrances. So um, they just take the Daisy Fragrances, tweak it a bit, put it in pretty packaging. Looks gorgeous. Yeah. If you want it, go get it. Uh, we've got an update with uh, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle. No, er Dark Circle Erasers. Yes, yeah, the, the concealer. concealers. So we said a few months ago that they were bringing out six new shades. They have hit the US stores. Um, and you can see there are a couple of fair ones and a couple of deeper ones. Um, and it looks like some maybe more mid tone tanned yeah. ones. Uh, Milani has a new palette. It's called the Bold Obsessions. Uh, it's a 12 pan palette. It looks, you know, it looks like a Steeler palette. It does, 100%. That's what I thought when I first saw it. Yeah. I thought it was a new Steeler palette. It's not. It's from Milani. The shades are quite nice. You've got cools, warms, neutrals, all that. Jazz. And some nice sort of berry colors as well. Yeah. Um, then we do have a new thing from Milk Makeup. Mm -hmm. This is a luminous blur stick. Yeah. Um, we're a little not salty that's we're salty sort of, i'm salty i'm not salty <laughs> but what we've been planning on doing for a while now but just haven't had the time to do it because we're on holidays um is actually break <laughs> apart our blur stick because we don't like it and then add custom cover drops yeah illumination <laughs> to it to see what it's like yeah. um so they heard we're still us, doing it they heard us wanting to do it and i know like, oh, i'm so annoyed and it's funny because we've had this idea sort of on the back burner since early uh, December last year and we're just like oh it's fine we can do it next time yeah, we can do it next time. Do, but too. then something else will pop up pop up yeah. pop up and uh, now here we are we could have been like oh my god so I watched our video they, no. they had this idea much much yeah, they did but earlier we than also that. had the idea and we we're also going to do that so watch out we're doing it we're, we're doing, doing it, it. Don't stop us uh, model rock lashes um, they have shown something that hints at them bringing out an eyeshadow palette yeah so um you can see some of the shades there it's a thing that's coming i love their lashes yeah i'm so obsessed i think one of today is like one of the only days that i'm not wearing model rock lashes because i'm trying to use up other lashes but yeah. every other day model rock model yeah rock i lashes. really like them too I them. I, they're, they're the best. ones that i always reach for they're so yeah. good okay so we were sent some pr from miniso um and i'm going to say thank you Ooh. Ooh. To uh, Melissa Gold, who no doubt got us on the PR list. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. Um, but Miniso are releasing a new collection in February. So I think it launches 1st of Feb. Um, mm -hmm. And there's a few products that are coming out. It's called the Mini Pony Collection. Mm -hmm. Now, Mini, I get it. Miniso. Yeah. If you're not sure what Miniso is, it's sort of like uh, Daiso. So... Um, Japanese inspired sort of little store that's got homewares, electronics, some like clothing items, kitchen yep. items, uh, and a beauty kind of selection. So this is a new range where um, it's mini pony and it's got a horse with an ice cream cone on its head. <laughs> now, I'm say... I actually, can I just say, I actually really like that because like we couldn't get a unicorn so we made one. Yeah, and I'm like, they're like, it's not mini unicorn, it's mini pony <laughs> and we know that there's a trend so it's going to stick an ice cream cone. I like it. On its head. It makes me laugh. I don't, I don't um, hate it. So we were seeing a bunch of lip products which we'll talk about quickly but there are other things that are coming out in the range as well. There's perfect drop blurring foundation, so drop foundation, um, blossom rose water cc water cc so water. it's a cc product like cc cream but liquidy yeah they also have what looks like three eye dream palettes or two two one looks like it's just upside down i don't mm. know um and then we have a bunch of lip products so yeah. um there are three lip products that we've got here that we haven't actually used yet but maybe we'll do a little mini swatch video on it yeah we could all right, so they've got um, like lip lacquers. We've got five shades here. Um, and these are, like I was watching them before, they're more like long wear 
pigmented lip products that have that glossy shine so all right we've just done a bit of a swatchy doodle for you um so these super silky lip lacquers with a velvety finish they're just i i would say they're more of a lacquer finish um but you've got like a true red orangey red beautiful kind of mauvey color uh a nudie brown and a coral color so there's some pretty colors there and then what are these ones? These are the Jewel Shine lipsticks. So we've got them there. We've got uh, a red, pinky coral, straight up pink, bit of a nudie mauve, um, berry. and a berry. And then we have these guys, which, which look are cool. the Magic Candy lip tints. So there's two shades. We've got a sort of mauvey purple there and a pinky, pinky shade. Yeah. So, so this would be super affordable. Yeah. And I'm su I'm keen to try like these oh, liquid lipsticks. Oh shit, on my nose. Um, <laughs> no, you're right. Oh good. You're right. They smell good too. Yeah. A little bit vanillary. So there we go. So yeah, definitely I'm keen to try these out. So Because I. I know that these would be super like cheap. They'd be affordable. affordable. Really affordable. And if they're good quality products, then, um, you know, it's... It's another brand when you're feeling like, I want to buy something, but I don't want to spend too much money. You can go check them out. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm really keen to try these. I'm keen to try those, because like, yeah. I'm kind of into glossy lips at the moment. That one it's would look very good on Hayley, this one here. No. Oh, yeah. I'm I do glossy like lips it. too. Yeah, I'm, things are changing. I like glossy lips, apparently. See, I like pigmentation, but I also... Like, my problem with glossy lips are always that the pigmentation is just, like, meh. Yeah. Um, whereas that kind of red... That's beautiful. Yeah. I would like a glossy yeah. red. I think all of those colours are really beautiful and wearable. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. All right. So we have something new from Natasha Denona that was released earlier this week. Uh, they did a really quick sneak peek. They gave Trend Mood the exclusive sneak peek as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, go Trend Mood. Um... Yeah, whatever. Uh, so there are two new palettes that are coming out. They're sort of like face palettes. Diamond and blush palettes. They were yep. released on the 16th. Um, and they're the same format as their... I don't know if they're called Bronze and Glow. Whatever. They're yep. bronzer palettes that we saw previously that had three cream products and three um, powder products. And they were bronzers and like highlighters in one palette. Yep. So this is sort of a similar thing where it's got highlighters and... Um, blushes yes and there are yeah two different shades uh dahlia i think it's dahlia yeah dahlia and citrus yes all right these are not cheap they're 89 us dollars each but they do contain six pans of seven grams so right. it's a bit it's of, a product, lot of product but it is fucking pricey it's expensive it's expensive um so that's expensive yes that <laughs> that is expensive all right, what I don't really get about this, firstly, I'm not a big fan of the mix of cream and powders, yeah. just my preference. They do have that little lid that goes over the cream, so you don't get the powder in the cream. But where they've swatched it on their um, Instagram story, all the powder products um, or the powder highlighters are on top of the cream. So that diamond powder, that diamond cream at the oh. start is supposed to be almost like a base. Which I don't really get. Oh. So you've got some beautiful colours here. Citrus has these sort of coral colours. It's got a bright yellow, which is really interesting. I was wondering what the fuck was going on with yeah. that. Yeah. So when you look at the trend mood ones, they are swatched as is. And they yeah. look quite dull. All right. So with the trend mood ones, they're sort of swatched backwards. So the bronzy thing right on the right side, the far yeah. right side, is actually the cream that Natasha Denona designed to be put under the powders right. to make them really like pop. Uh -huh. So I don't know about this. I feel like the effects, like the video and the, the imagery looks gorgeous, but I feel like it, it's a little bit of work. In the trend mood swatch, it looks lackluster. It does. Right? Then if you but go then in the on, Natasha one, you're yeah, like, what? It how, looks gorgeous. How so much glow? It's because it's you're because supposed to use that base. You're supposed to use a cream base, which doesn't really do much except for makes it adhere to the skin. Like, yeah. makes the powders adhere to the skin. But I just feel like it's too much effort. I agree. You start, like, you start doing things like prime, base, conceal, cream, highlight, powder. Ugh. Yeah, no, it's too much. It's chunk. Um, it's chunk I think, city. I think... Like, they've demonstrated very well that this could be really great for photo shoots and stuff. Yes. But I think in reality, 
not very practical. Yeah. And if I need to put down, like, almost foil my, like, my highlighters, I it's not. Don't want yeah, it. it's not for me. I don't want it. It's um, not for me. Um, but they did release other things at the same yes. time. Yes, duochrome top coats. So these are those... Three new shades. Yeah. Because yeah. they released these in Chris- at Christmas. Yes. These um, duochrome top coats are beautiful. Yes. They're absolutely... Yeah, they're, they're beautiful. They're $28 each, contain 6 grams, so you get quite a lot of product in them. But these are duochrome, so there's a burnt terracotta that kind of has a green shift, there's a brown mauve that's got a purple shift, oh, and a lavender with a gold and silver shift, which is really beautiful. Um, and these are like a cream-based eyeshadow. So the look of them reminds me a bit of um, L'Oreal had those ones. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember what they're called, but I'm... They're, they're like, like a metallic cream. Like a loose pigment yeah, kind of yeah, sort yeah, of. Yeah, yeah it yeah. looks like that. These are beautiful. I hope they stay on the market because I will buy them yeah. next year I think when I'm not on a low buy. All right, very quickly, um, Pixie Beauty looks like they have done some more collabs. So this time last year, they released a whole bunch of collabs with different um, bloggers and in, like Instagrammers and YouTubers and whatever. I think there was about four no, four or five people they collabed with. Um, some of the stuff that came out of that was actually really cool. So yeah. um, looks like that they're doing it again, but they're not really calling it Prixie... Prixie. Fuck. <laughs> Pixie Pretties that they called it last yeah. time. This has been shown on Marks and Spencer. So mm. it's already available on their website, which is where I got these images from. Yeah. Yet no one's talked about it. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Yeah, the brand hasn't talked about it. The influencers haven't talked about it. But it's available on Marks and Spencer. So I yeah. don't know if they accidentally released it early. I'm not too sure. But you can see that there is... Uh, Chloe Morello has a face palette. So mm-hmm. these are like blushes, I think highlighter, eyeshadows, and then brow products. Uh, Dolce Candy has a lip palette. Um, I don't know who... I don't know who these people are besides Chloe Morello. I feel like yeah. It. But Whaley? Yeah. Whaley... I don't even know. Um, looks like a dimensional eye creator kit. So four eyeshadows in a palette and then a double-ended eyeliner. Okay, so quickly just from Real Techniques, we have a new brush range. This is called the Brush Crush. Now, it sort of looks like the middle, the bold middles, but with like unicorny kind of colours. Yeah. Uh, I think the handles are meant to sort of be like encapsulated glitter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, pink and purple and whatnot. Um, so this is available now, and the brushes, like, there's a variety of different brushes. You can buy individual brushes, mm-hmm. um, and you can also buy, like, a new kabuki brush, um, a sponge that is, like, their diamond marbled sponge, but just in different colours. Um, and then you get packs, Shimmer and Shine pack, uh, which has three brushes in a bag. This is $62 in Australia, shame. And I think it's only, like, 30 Dollars in the US. I don't. I don't get it. This is it. why I don't buy Real Techniques brushes anymore. They're no, too expensive. Too, or if I do, I wait for them to go on iHerb so I can buy the yeah. American and prices. then I wait for iHerb to be on sale and yeah. I'm like bargain. Yeah, they've also got this Luminous Glow Pack, um, which looks like it's more contour highlighter because it's got a fan brush. Um, it looks like it's got kind of contouring brushes, that sponge, and also a silicon sponge now they didn't describe this as being a silicon sponge they described it as being a diamond foundation applicator so and at least they're realistic though flexible surface helps to hygienically transfer product to your skin yeah so what i what people what people that love silicon sponges they try to justify it by going yeah but it takes the product and puts it on your face you're like yeah so do your fucking hands but (laughs) If you want to not use your hands because you can't wash them or something, then use your silicon fucking sponge. But at least they're not saying dab it on your face until the cows come home. They're yeah. like, no, this is just to be like, yeah, transfer. Just fucking yeah. put it straight in your face. Uh, we've got something new from Ren. This is a Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. Uh, it's thirty five US dollars and it's available now at Sephora dot. It's a daily toner. It helps to exfoliate the skin gently with lactic acid and willow bark extracts. Cool. Then we have our new Shiramura Tokyo Spirit Spring 2018 collection. Yeah. Um, this looks cool because the packaging looks holographic. It does. It's really um, pretty. Yeah. So there's some imagery. It looks very pastel, very kind of like 
light and airy. Mm -hmm. um, you have a face powder, lipsticks. Um, I think these look like liquid illuminators. I think they are, yeah. Because um, they've got, uh, I think they might actually be color correctors because they've got a pink, a yellow, and yeah. a green. Yeah. So I'm not too sure what's going on there. That, uh, yeah. It's just what I'm guessing. They've got liners, what they look like brow products, mm -hmm. colored brow products. Um, there you go. Inspired yep. by Tokyo. Yeah. We've got the Sigma Sig Magic. This is a brush cleaning tool. I don't mind this though. Yeah. Um, I think this is better than their big like uh, mats and stuff. I think this is just yeah something I'd actually possibly use. Yeah. Um, then we have some. It's got the sorry. Yeah. I just mentioned it's actually got the cleanser like built into it. Oh. So like you basically like you stick it to your table, you wet your brush, swirl your brush in it, and then rinse it out. And it's kind of like an all-in-one product. When does it run out? Ask Sigma. <laughs> I don't actually know. Yeah, I I don't know. Alright, so Smashbox are showing something new. Um, these are three new shades of the Photo Edit Eyeshadow Trio. We've seen this sort of like design from them before and this is just adding a new sort of range that's got a matte and two sparkles. Yeah, so these are meant to be like high shine, metallic, yeah. like really sparkly um, additions to their range. So yeah, which the, I, I like. I like that too. So the, the two shades that are like sparkly they're a new formula to the yeah. range in the collection, which is cool. I really like that pinky one. Yeah, I, I think, think the pinky they're one's beautiful nice. colors. Um, even the one with the green and the blue and the like nudie sort of pale cream color. It, so many people are screaming for those shades at the moment. So yeah. I think it's pretty good. And even like, not that I'm a big fan of black eyeshadow, but no. having a gold and a silver sparkle would look really cool. Can over I just a black say eyeshadow. this? When I saw that silver and gold sparkle one with the black, I yeah. was like, why didn't you bring this out before Christmas? Yeah. That, like, that's, that's festive. Festive as fuck. Now we disco have to as fuck. <laughs> disco as fuck. There you go. It is. It's disco as fuck as yeah. well. So they're coming soon. Um, Stilla is, speaking of Christmas, uh, Stilla is sort of carrying on with their bundle packs and their, like, mini packs of stuff. So they've got the Nouveau Nude Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick Set. It's 20 US dollars. These are all currently available online. They've got another of their little glitter and glow um, eyeshadow sets. Yeah. So this Just one. Just different shades. Yeah, this is, it's cool. It contains rose gold retro, kitten karma, and smoldering satin. That one's $25. Again, they're, they're minis. It's oh, fuck, so good. They've got the best of spring collection, which is all of the new um, like glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows. They've got three liquid lipsticks, two of their lip toppers, and an eyeliner. Um, $175 with a value of $250, mm -hmm. which is pretty good. And then... A vault. The, the vault, which is a bit cray. The vault is $475 US dollars. Fuck. Yeah, it's so money. it's a huge collection. They've got... Um, I, I don't think it's all of the glitter no, glow liquid eyeshadows um it's a, and it's not the whole collection it is a large chunk of the yeah. collection it so. looks like they've got the spring range and then some of the more recent some. yeah releases yeah. and so this was these are the the one the three that are sort of isolated in the corner they were their new duo chromes that they brought out recently right yep that we talked about that were like looks like the other ones but yes yep. yeah so it's a big chunk of it stuff it is it is. Um, I do like that Stilla are bundling things. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think it's the way they've done it is 100% perfect, but yeah. You got, look, at least they're trying. That's true. Fuck. All right, very quickly, Too Faced, we saw the white peach palette um, that has launched in Sephora already. So earlier this week it launched. But we've also seen a sneak peek that makes it look like there's more coming in the white peach range. We are 100% so, not surprised. So they can't let a good thing go. No. They need to flog it to death. Yeah. Um, and it looks like there's potentially some form of powder or something. Yeah. 
Um, I'm not too sure. Last few things, thank fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, we've got Urban Decay. They're jumping on the holographic makeup bandwagon. I don't know what they're doing with their lives, but they're releasing a holographic disco stick and a holographic queen holographic... No, so many holographics. <laughs> Holo- disco queen holographic highlighter powder. Yeah. Um, these mm, are not necessary, yeah. um, but they... They talk about them being cool ultraviolet tones, or cool icy ultraviolet tones. We can't see ultraviolet. Okay, no, Just but color color of, color of the year. It's fucking Pantone rubbish. Purple. So these are going to be releasing twenty third of January for twenty six dollars each. The packaging looks cool, but I just am a little bit. Look, I used to see Urban Decay as being a trendsetter, and now they're a trend follower. follower. I, I agree. really think this is something to do with the fact that they were bought out by L'Oreal yeah, 100%. four or five years ago, yeah. and they're getting some pressure to do some trendy shit instead yeah. of actually paving their own way like they used to. Yeah. Naked Heat, way after the, the warm shadow, like the warm eyeshadow thing kind yeah. of was dying in the ass, they're bringing it out, and same as this. Like, yeah. No. I will say. I do like the look of the swatches. It in- well, see, I think because the looks- powder. Look, I think the the stick looks better than the powder. Yeah. Because the powder has a really dark color to it. Yeah. Um, and even on darker skin tones, it yeah. looks a I bit unusual. It would be better as like the stick would make an okay highlighter. Not going to be good for me. I don't like doing the cream highlighting thing. Mm. I reckon this would make a sick eyeshadow. Yeah, but they should stick to making eyeshadows. Yeah, they should. All right, now there's skincare coming from Winky Lux. Mm-hmm. The end. Yeah. Lightweight gel moisturizer for day that moonlights as a sleep mask, which means it's a day and night face cream. The end. Cool story, bro. All right, we're going to quickly open some mail, even yeah. though that was too long for life. Look. Too long for my life, but we've got some mail, so we will open, open it. it. Let's open it. Let's start with a letter. This is from Dorothea. Or is it? Yeah, Dorothea. Yeah, I think that's right. She's from Mountain View, California. Ooh. In the US of A. All right, let's get into this. Oh, it's cute. Oh, cool. All right, so we have a it's card. A, yeah, it's and super she's, cute. She's taken full advantage. <laughs> written on the... Wow. Yeah. Good on you. All right. So it says, Dear Cat and Haley, my name is Dorothea. I'm from Serbia, Southeast oh. Europe. Um, but currently, My mum's from Serbia. Yeah. But currently living in the Bay Area of California. I've been watching ladies since the early days of Beauty News. I've stumbled upon Kat's channel first while looking for reviews of Zoeva Nude Spectrum Palette. Oh! Ah, I did give one of those back she in the day. Didn't, didn't get it in the end. Um, I watch all your videos, but never comment. That's all right. Um, I've decided to write to you after seeing Beauty News mail unboxing videos and... Know how much you appreciate Aww, every single letter. So we, do, we, we do. We really do. Them. You two are so great at what you do and so genuine. You never fail to put a smile on my face. Yeah. I love your sense of humour. The fact that you... Oh! <laughs> the fact that you love Jon Snow and that you talk like regular people. Oh, that's so cute. Your we whole... do love Jon Snow. We do love Jon Snow. his bum. <laughs> You're helping me through tough times. Mm. Since I've moved just four months ago to the US with my husband, he got a job here right after finishing his PhD. Oh, well done. Well done That's hubby. an achievement. So we've decided to move. I'm not allowed to work here just yet, so it does get lonely. Oh, That's, I yeah, can I can imagine. And also, boring. You need something to keep your mind start going. YouTube. Yeah, start YouTube. Um, but you two help. Thank oh, you. So My best friend is moving to Melbourne in 2018. Oh, wow. So if I come to visit, maybe yeah. you can squeeze in a coffee we with would. me. Definitely. 100%. 100%. Already fucking scribble it in your diary. It's already done. Booked yep. in. Um, I wanted to send you some Glossier goodies, but we know if you... Oh, let me know if you want to try something from them. My email is not for you. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, thank you for making your videos. They are awesome. Oh. Thank you for watching them. You but, are yeah, awesome. Yeah, you are awesome. Um, as you are. You two deserve all the success. Oh, you're such a sweetheart. Thank you so much. Looking that is so sweet. Yes. 
Definitely. Come visit your friend. And if your friend needs any, like, advice, Melbourne advice, we probably can't help that much, but we'll try. Yeah, I know. We're pretty shit. <laughs> yeah. We'll try. This is my house. Um, this is my house. So yeah. my coffee's over there. And... This is a road. Don't yeah. walk on it without looking both ways first. <laughs> but yeah. That's so sweet. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much, That's Dorothea. So we will hold on to your little letter. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. So we do have a parcel. Excellent. From somewhere. I'm going to sip my coffee. Because we don't Ooh. sip tea here. Mm -mm. Sip coffee. Okay. We've got a card. Excellent. Ooh. Oh, it's battle. <laughs> <laughs> we have this running oh, joke. That's so great. We have this running joke about um, battleground yeah. in America. We're like, are you winning the war? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's so cute. You know okay, I mean? yes. So this is from Marie, and she says, "Hello, beautiful ladies. I'm sorry for the bad handwriting. No, it's fine. <laughs> I can read it. And possible spelling errors. Don't worry." We I won't tell it. anyone. Um, I'm literally writing this at the post office. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that I really enjoy your videos Aww. and that I'm coming to Australia for a business trip in May. That's my birthday I, month. I would love to meet you while I'm there, if possible. If not, I'll just... Continue, Wait, to, I'll enjoy continue your to enjoy your videos. Let us know. Yes, email us. If we're us. around, the only thing that will stop us if we, is if we weren't around. Oh my God, this is hilarious. What, 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 what? She says, P.S., the town battleground was actually named after a battle that did not happen. <laughs> so technically, it's you won. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or it's you won by default because yeah. you didn't lose. That's true. It just never happened. Just never happened. I love that. That's oh, hilarious. That's so cute. Battleground. I love that Whatever card. happened? Are you winning that war? <laughs> I yeah, love it. that's so cute. Cool. Coming awesome. To, look, so many people coming to Melbourne. I know. I'm so excited. That's so cool. Marie, um, I am just going to mention that you did write your email on here, but you didn't finish it. So we don't know if it's like Gmail or Hotmail. Or... So you can email us. Email us. Email and us. we will definitely have a coffee or a cocktail or whatever you want yes. when you come to visit. And we have some goodies. All right. Here is Get something. into it. And here is something. All right. And they have similar shapes, so we'll open one each. Oh, oh, oh. oh it's tea. Ooh. Yes. Tiavana. Ooh, oh my god, god graphic. Fuck, 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 it smells amazing. Oh, oh my Peach god. tranquility. I've got What's strawberry yours? daiquiri. Mm. Holy Would shit. you prefer? Oh my god. Two. We're going to have to make some tea. Oh, fuck, smell that. Oh, so This good. is, yes. Fancy as fuck tea. And made beautiful in packaging. Oh, really? Yeah. Score. Yep, it is awesome. true. Thank, Thank you. you. We do love tea. You're telling us we need to spill some tea. Oh. I've some coffee before. Oh. Don't spill good tea. Don't. No. Oh, oh that's, that's the, the bag, bag from Tivana. That's a really nice gift bag. It is nice. That is gift nice. Bag. Cool. Gorgeous. I don't think they've got any particular names on them, so let's just. Oh! <laughs> Ooh. Oh! All right. Oh, wow. Oh. Mm. I know. There is an EOS Holiday Collection Visibly Soft Peppermint Mocha. Yes. yes. I'm keen to try this. I'm keen to try that as well. That's awesome. And there are so many of these lollies in here. What are these? There you go. Yeah, me too. Ooh. Oh, fudge. Mm. Mm hmm. Yum. So, we've been treated with sweets, lip balm, and Delicious. Cheese. More? Mm. Hang on. Oh. Oh. Maracas. <laughs> no. What? No. What the oh, hell? What is it? Oh, that's so interesting. Oh. It's rock sugar. So it's from Tivana again, but it's like, it's sugar that hasn't been, yeah, I need to try this. Oh. It's sugar. Mmm. That you put in tea. I get it. Yeah, but it hasn't been like ground up into that. And it's like generic... black sugar. That's awesome. That's so cool. She oh! spoiled us. Holy shit. We got little Oh, little tea cups. Oh, this is so cute. All right. Well, Beauty News is set for tea. Yay. We're going to have to have some tea next we time. Are. These are so cute. These are gorgeous. Beautiful color. Oh. And I love how it's all like matchy matchy. Gorgeous. I love that. Thank you so much. That's really sweet. And Thank you. chocolate. Lip balm. 
tea and chocolates and really interesting sugar. Thank you so much, Marie. Thank we you. love it. And the way to our heart is definitely through tea and chocolate. Chocolate. All right. So we have something here from Montana. Yep. And she's she, a sort of local. Sort of. Quite. She's in Queensland. Yeah. Yeah. Aussie. 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 Oi. 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> wait. Wait. This is hilarious. So, so it's Cat and Haley. And any animals which are present while opening, or Simon. Hi, Simon. Hey, oh, Simon. Simon, you better come in here. How do they know you were here? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I'm never too far away. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. That's so cute. All right, so we've got a card here that says a pug's guide to getting extra Christmas food, and then it's got different faces oh, of what a pug that's does. So, cute. so step one. Make your very best puppy dog eyes. Step two, cry. <laughs> Hugs do. Step three, sit under the table and catch falling food. Step four, steal everything. Oh, it sounds like my cat. Very, very true. Dear Cat and Haley, I hope you two had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We, oh, did. we did. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, I know this is late, but this card and wrap was too cute not to use. Oh, I could too. only get you little things, but there's nothing exciting at Priceline. Oh, and between <laughs> Queensland and Victoria, I'm afraid you would have a, a chocolate, chocolate pool. pool at the bottom of your parcel. Oh, I've also added pictures of my fur babies. Oh, Yay! Yes. I'm so excited um, for that. There's Lola, our nine-year-old pug. That explains the card. That's so uh, cute. She's a glamour queen. Bambi, my 16-week-old Pomeranian. Oh, Holy shit. Oh, that's so cute. And Zuzu, my 18-month-old lovebird. Oh, I oh. love it. I love the bird. All right, these might be photos, I think, Okay, possibly. cool. We can open them up. Uh, thank you for all that you do and making a community that anyone would be lucky to be a part of. Oh, that's so May sweet. your noses stay matte and your eyes stay shiny. Oh, my love, Yay. Montana. I Montana, wish. thank you. I'm feeling you. my nose is a yeah, bit shiny and my eyes are too matte. We're a, but bit, we're a bit warm today in Melbourne. But we've got some cool stuff here. We do. All right, so I think these, these might, might be, be photos. photos. I want to see photos. I want to see photos too. I'm so excited. Oh! <laughs> She's wearing pearls. Glamour shorts. What the heck? Can you guys see shirt? that? That's it is so cute. A black pug wearing pearls. That's so and cute. She is indeed a glamour it's queen. It's giving the eyes. Oh! oh look at her dirty little face. Oh my god. Look at so its little cute. face. It looks like it's been kissing the window as well. Oh, Let so me cute. in. Let little, me in. Little baby. Gorgeous. I love Pomeranians. I think they're so. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> so cute. Photo with Santa. That's so cute. Photo. Wish my cats would go get photos with I Santa. I know. Oh, oh, beautiful. The lovebird. Beautiful. My mum had lovebirds um, when she was younger. And I believe, or maybe she had one. Yeah, she had one and she gave it a toy bird that looked like a lovebird. It was a oh. little plastic one. So it boinked the toy bird and then it laid an egg. <laughs> It was actually a female. That's so, so funny. Yeah, that is hilarious. Oh, that's funny. Thank you so much. I love that. Speaking could... of birds. Oh, really? Oh, for my birds. All right. Let's see. Let's you see. didn't know Hayley has birds. I do. I've got two rainbow lorikeets. They're Montana cheeky. They are cheeky. They are bad birds. They're very loud. Whatever you gave them, I'm not giving to them because they don't deserve it. <laughs> it's not true. It's not true. Oh, they love these. They love destroying these. <laughs> so you have well, you've made them like very birds happy. Like mum. Yes, yes. Oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. Oh gosh. What do we open first? Uh the little disc. Disc? Alright, oh, let's get good. into it. Oh, how cute. <laughs> so we've got little mirrors. <laughs> oh, that is cute. I love that. So we can Did get... you get a Daisy Duck yeah. too? Yeah, I love that. So we can do our makes ups. Excellent. And I can look at myself and be like, oh, not bad for travel. Oh, it's really good for travel. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Today calls for glitter. Good. It, it does. does. Every day calls for glitter. I'm down with that. Oh, and boy. you know what? I will say makeup bags. So handy. So handy. Especially clear, clear ones. Oh, they're so good. They and are so And that's good handy. because we want to go traveling. I know. I 2018, know the year of let's just travel every day. Yeah. Not really. We'll be too tired. We're old ladies. Every now. other day. But makeup bag. Thank you so Travel much. Travel mirror. That's so sweet. Very handy. Thank and you. also, my birds send their regards. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. Can, you can send her photos. I'm yes, I will. I will. You know what I'll do? I'll take a video of me trying to put this in their cage and them Attacking ripping you? my arm off. Yeah. Yeah, do that. I will. Instagram it. <laughs> I will. <laughs> All right, guys. We need to wrap this episode up. We want to say thank you so much to everyone who sent us items. Yeah. Um, the parcels. Oh my God, guys. You keep doing it to us. You keep spoiling us. I know. You do. I you keep do. organizing. And then it and gets And there's crazy. more. I and know. I know. But fine. we really appreciate yeah. it, guys. Thank you so much. Um, We've got to go. Simon's waiting for us. We have literally been filming this episode for... Two hours. Yeah. Fuck. Thanks, guys. We love you. Yeah. Oh, emoji. Tired face. No, googly <laughs> those eyes. Googly eyes. The annoying fucking googly eyes. <laughs> yes. Let's do it. The eyes. All right, guys. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Whoa. Today's not my day. Fuck. That. What? <laughs> Wowza. <laughs> Siri. Oh. Siri. Fuck you. Don't fucking start with us. I spilled my coffee, Siri. Don't make fun of me. Clean it up. Clean it up, Siri.